when free running, your footwear is obviously very important. Uh, your shoes need to be grippy, they need to have good shock absorption and generally be quite comfortable as you'll be running and jumping around in them. Yeah, I thought the shoes were great. There was a lot of scenes where beforehand I was like, oh, this is going to be a lot of impact on my legs because I'm used to wearing normal uh, running, free running shoes. And, you know, I did the first take and I thought, wow, you know, they took a lot of impact. I could do that again and again and just managed to knock out a lot of takes on what I thought would be really tiring, but they, you know, took most of the impact. I didn't have to do too much work. I was a bit worried coming into this thinking, oh, am I going to have to adapt my free running style to the trainers or the shoes because they're completely different to what I'm used to wearing. But, you know, they, they were light and they were they were really good ankle support as well. And um, they, were, they were quite breathable that my feet didn't, didn't get too hot. The other good thing about these trainers are, are that they're really breathable. So it just means that on hot days, you can continue to you know do your exercise or if it's even walking without your feet um, getting sweaty. I think three or four scenes where I do quite high drops, and you know the the I told Claudia beforehand I only want to do this one time, and um, they took the impact so well that you know I. I did each shot three or four times and I was happy to go again. They're really flexible and uh, it's really important for you know when you're running, trying to kick off walls, it just allows your feet to position in the right way to gain maximum push or uh, distance. During shooting it rained as England tends to do quite often and um, yeah, the, the other outerwear was fully waterproof, the hat and everything kept me fully dry and, and it's you know keeps all the heat in as well so it was it was good to be wearing that, whereas normally we wear t-shirts and get soaked, it was refreshing. One thing that I liked about these uh, trainers were that they actually look quite stylish. Some scenes we shot I had to dive roll on roofs with like gravel and things like that and I thought I don't want to scuff up my elbows and, or, or rip the, sh the, the clothing but they came out you know, as pristine as they went into the shots. For some of the photos it required us to run through puddles, um, you know, a numerous amount of times, you know, 10, 20 times. And good thing about these shoes is no matter how many times I run through the puddles, my feet remained uh, dry right throughout. I had to run through through puddles for the phantom shots. And um, yeah, they didn't get wet or anything. They stayed, my, my socks stayed dry the whole time. You know, I thought, oh, this is early in the day. If they get wet, that's going to be quite annoying. I have to change my socks, but you know, they're waterproof. Normally police uniforms look, you know, quite heavy. And um, the whole time, Wearing them, they were really, really light, really durable and waterproof, yet they were breathable, they didn't get too hot when the sun came out. I thought that was really impressive.